It takes a small effort to make a big impact for me. Enjoy. Here's the step back for a new Maverick record! Back to the basket and scores again. Luca probing, drifting back to the baseline. Yeah, baby! Whether he's going away from the game plan or not when he's that hot. Oh, he is the game plan. Jason Kidd is exactly right, because unless you've been living under a rock, Luka Doncic just had one of the single greatest NBA performances ever. And if it feels like you've heard that before, it's because you have. And it's because he's had games like this, this, and this, just to name a few. But this recent game against Atlanta takes the cake, scoring 73 points, which is the fourth most in NBA history. And to make it even crazier than it already is, he did so on 13 less shot attempts than Kobe Bryant and 30 less than both of Wilt's games. Not to mention, he did this whilst recording seven assists and having to deal with, well, this. Fires the ball up the floor to Hardaway. And he throws it away, trying to hit Lively. And I can assure you, the Atlanta Hawks tried absolutely everything to stop him. And absolutely nothing worked. Just look at everyone who guarded him. It didn't matter if it was an athletic wing, a switchable big, or smaller, rangier defender like DeJounte Murray. No one had the answer. And unfortunately, Atlanta had to learn that the hard way. They initially started the night off by defending Luka with Jalen Johnson, who is a strong, physical, athletic player that should be a good matchup for Luka. Well, that's only in theory, because Luka started things off by pushing Johnson off to create separation for the handoff. Johnson recovered, and watch here as Luka crosses one way, back the other way, and this move... <laughs> It's just flat out cruel. Or again on this play where Johnson has the task of guarding him. This time Luka goes behind the back before then looking off Bogdanovich with the fake and then faking the shot before pulling up for the midi on a dime. But maybe Jalen Johnson just wasn't the right matchup for Luka, even though everything would suggest he's the exact physical profile to even have a chance at guarding Luka. How about someone like Sadiq Bey instead? I mean, look at the guy. He's built like a tank. He's another a six foot seven athletic wing. I'm here to tell you that doesn't matter as Lucas spins him inside out before then faking the midi only to knock it down a few seconds later. I think you guys get the idea. It didn't matter who was guarding Luca, they were all getting absolutely cooked. Just look at this play where he gets the switch on Capella. He drives past two defenders, but with Capella recovering, he throws a behind the back pass before relocating to the three point line and knocking it down. I know everyone will tell you defense is not the same, and whilst it isn't, six foot seven, 240 pounds guys weren't making plays like this before either. Here's the NBA heart, there's been a lot of games. Here's the step back for a new Maverick record! But before we talk more about Luca's historic game versus Atlanta, his entire season has been off the charts, averaging close to 35, nine and nine a game. And there is absolutely no one in the league that can get as hot as he does on a nightly basis. Josh Green, who is a very solid NBA player himself, said he'd never seen anything like it. It was like a game of 2K, but the sliders had been put all the way up. And my only slight objection to that claim by Josh Green is we have kind of seen this before. Just look at some of the explosive halves he's had this season, with the most recent 41-point half obviously coming against the Hawks. But it was one month ago, only one month ago, when he went off for 50 points, 15 assists, 4 steals, and 3 blocks versus Phoenix. Apple, Doncic, D3, got it! Luka with a Kogi giving chase and Doncic. And that game is exactly why teams don't know how to defend Luka Doncic, because Phoenix, just like Atlanta, tried everything. Just look at this play where Exum and Lively set screens. The Suns send two defenders at Luka, but he's able to pinpoint a pass over the top to the rolling Lively. Or in this play, where he has the ball just inside the arc. He looks like he's going for the step back jumper, but notices Booker helping over, so watch him freeze Eubanks and Gordon with a head fake before dropping a dime to Exum. And oh yeah, he can also do things like this. Doncic, the lob and the flush! 
and it's this level of playmaking that makes him unguardable. Everyone will talk about how Atlanta didn't double team him enough. Well, look what happened to Phoenix when they tried doubling him. And on the season, Luka has faced twice as many blitzes as any player in the NBA. Nearly three times the amount of third place Trey Young. I guess there's a reason he gets blitzed more than everyone, because when you don't blitz him, well, he goes for 73 points. But the thing is, Atlanta did blitz towards the end of the game. The issue is, he made every single pass. Just look at this play where Luka comes off the screen, draws two defenders, fumbles the ball in the paint, and just flings a perfect behind the back pass to Hardaway, who misses the three. Or how about this absolutely absurd pass, where again, Luka gets the screen. Two defenders close out at him, and right here Luka would normally look for the step back three, but he somehow has the presence of mind to throw a cross-court dime to Hardaway, who again bricks the shot. But he wasn't done there, because on the rebound, he then fakes out the defense, and when it looks like he's about to shoot, he passes it to Exum, who's wide open for three. I know people have called Luka Doncic selfish, but when you're hitting every single shot, yet still have the presence presence of mind to make the extra pass, that's not a selfish player. And that's what makes him unguardable. I mean, Trey Young said it best after the game. Sometimes you have to pick your poison. And after he'd scored, what, 60? We started doing more double teaming, and then they were hitting threes. It's tough. He's a hell of a player for a reason. And sometimes, even when you do send two defenders at him, Luka can just decide he wants to score anyway. Like the last bucket of the game, where the Hawks tried to trap him at half court, so he went between the legs to split the double, stepped around Jalen Johnson, and dropped it in, with Capella falling behind in the background. Think about how good you have to be to make the best athletes on earth look like scrubs. That's just the job description for Luka Doncic at this point. But you know what makes Luka's regular season numbers even scarier? Every year of his career, he's improved his scoring from the regular season to the playoffs, averaging 28.1 for his career in the regular season, and 32.1 in the playoffs. If he were to increase it by that amount, he would end up averaging 39, which would be the third highest amount in NBA history. I'm just saying, Playoff Luka is a different beast, and he's actually adding to his game as well, believe it or not. Just look at this game against the Hawks, where Luka was operating as a screener on certain plays to free himself up to knock down threes, or this play where he gives the ball up to Grant Williams before relocating for three. He's not exactly playing like Steph Curry, but he's definitely improved his off-ball movement, which again, just makes it even harder to guard him. Not to mention, he's shooting a career high from three-point range and the free throw line. Just to put his three point shooting into perspective, Damian Lillard, who is considered one of the greatest shooters ever, has only had two seasons higher from three than Luca is currently shooting. One of those guys is six foot two, the other is six foot eight. Nothing else really needs to be said. Well, actually, you could always sub to the channel if you like the content and drop a like because it helps. Either way, have a nice day. Bye.